friends, we are out of the camp in Costa Verde, where, which is in Kalunga, where we got extremely late yesterday and we still feel very tired and exhausted from yesterday's heat and the distance we made because we had to make extra kilometers to search for the camping gas we didn't find still so our muscles feel very sore and we're all kind of broken apart and it would be a great day to take the day off Camino but you know the place is not good for that so we'll have to continue on Today we plan to get close to the next village Villa Viciosa where we'll be stales camping because there is no official camping site and then tomorrow we'll decide how we'll be skipping the city part because we are getting close to the big city Fijon and Oviedo We have to decide how we'll be moving through them because as always we want to escape them you know? so we'll tell you what we decide Let's start the day And this is our cold but very tasty salad for breakfast. Let's eat. Getting ready for the day. This would be great to use for Halloween. Today the weather is much cooler than last days. It's cool wind and fog and it can rain any moment if you like. It's very humid today. Today we won't see any ocean views because we are getting away from it. Because the Camino goes this way and we already can see that the area gets more contaminated with lots of traffic and highways. So it's probably going to be quite a boring day, especially counting such a gloomy weather. So no exciting views guaranteed today. We'll see. If the sun will come out today, we won't get anywhere. So we already had enough of it yesterday. Please, the clouds help us today. But at least on the road we are walking on, there is no traffic at all. We are walking close to the highway. We hear it, but here it's kind of a secondary road. So that's nice. And all of a sudden the sky got all cleared up and we have to walk in the heat again. I care where have a backpack because it's Sunday and all supermarket closed and we still have to eat something so I have no choice. It's a hard day today.
so we are at the village of Prieska and we think to stop here and to find the stealth camping spot somewhere around here in the forest we see there are lots of trees that's fine because later we're not sure we'll find any because there will be lots of highways and crossroads so here is the good spot so now let's search for it The ground is very uneven with lots of hills, so we'll have a hard time finding a spot here. But it's still only 4 pm, so we'll have time to explore the area. We think that we found the land where we'll camp. There is a slope quite a bit, but we don't think we'll find better. So, with lots of pastures, at least there are no cows here, so less chances that a tractor will come and disturb us. Good rainy morning everyone. It was rain all night and doesn't want to stop now. But we hope it stops soon. Yeah, when we have to start our day because we don't want to be in the rain clothes all day. <laughs> Today when we come to Villa Viciosa, which is 9 kilometers to this place, take the bus to Oviedo we film some interesting places, maybe. We hope we have time and we'll be nearby some of these places. And we chose the Aviero because uh, we know that it's less populated and you know, we have choice to <laughs> always choose the city less populated. And if you know the movie Vicky Cristina Barcelona, uh, directed by Woody Allen, we know the Aviero from this movie. So now we are close to it <laughs> and why not to visit it? And then from Oviedo we probably take the train to Aviles o Cudillero, which is even further. We are not really sure yet because we are waiting for the reply from the campings if they are still open or not. Because we don't want to knock on the closed door. And if you decide to do it on the Camino it will be three to four days we are skipping now. But we know why we are doing it for and it's worth it because we'll compensate it in other places, yeah? So this is our plan for today. We'll see you on the way. Preparing our quick breakfast, mostly with the milk today. Everything is sweet, but it's okay for a change. We're eating everything sweet now. Hope that we'll have enough energy for the day. Today is probably the most humid and rainy day that we've had on the Camino. But it's not really cold, it's just very humid and warm. And the night was very warm. But we hope the rain is coming down now so that we can film. Because you know that our camera is not waterproof at all. And we don't want to break it because it's the only one that we have. Yesterday we learned interesting information about these wooden houses. We wanted to know uh, why they were built historically and we learned that they were built for keeping the cereals dry and the corn. As you can see here, lots of the corn, because the corn industry was developing here and they had to build them even more. So they had a very particular use at that time. Such a beautiful path to walk. Yeah, we're enjoying it so much. The last bit of nature stroll for yeah. today and going to the car roads and cities. Yeah.
great peaceful walk in nature and probably it was an old path, a Camino, but now there is a very noisy highway that is very disturbing and annoying. What we can do about it. Oviedo, where we're heading right now, starts the other St. James Way, the primitive way that turns away from ocean, goes quite different from the Norte, but kind of parallel, and it joins the French Way in Lugo, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But we're obviously taking the Norte and we'll go as much as we can on it, because we want to be closer to ocean, as you know, <laughs> this is what we like the most on this way. Guess taking the two small ones. Yeah. We are out in the Viera now. It was quite a nauseous trip. In the bus because it was climbing up the mountains so we guess that Viedo is higher up uh, than we were before and it's much colder I feel like you can you want to put on all the warm clothes that you have Finally, we arrived at our destination Cudillero for today. It was a long day and we feel like we're even more tired from taking public transport than hiking and going on the Camino. Now we're heading to the camping that is still open. Great for us. We saw while we were moving on the train and the bus, we saw lots of Camino signs on the way and that it was going uh, along the car roads uh, most of the time so we think we didn't miss much to be honest with you and we are glad that we did it even though we don't enjoy it as much as walking obviously but it was a necessity so we had to do it and now all we want is to sleep sleep and sleep again so we're gonna be resting and then see you the next day bye bye
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed our video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more hiking adventures. Also, follow us on social media like Facebook and Instagram. Leave us a comment below sharing your adventure stories or ask any questions. Your support and feedback means a lot to us. Hope you're having a great day and we'll see you again soon. Bye!